Hi, this is Nani Martinez on the Adam Bomb Show. Holds me, maybe if I cast it out a spell. I told them decorations were in pastel red buns. Maybe it's a So let's talk about uh, your fans on Twitter. They went nuts for you this week, trying to get into this private performance. Talk about how good it feels to have those kind of fans that are just crazy and just love you so much. Um, well, I'm super grateful. They're super passionate people, and I really connect with them on a, a whole different emotional level. Like, it's it's really interesting to, like, you know, whenever I'm, like, looking at, like, the line outside of, like, a show or something while I'm in the bus, it's just interesting, like, really observing, like, every single one of the kids that come to the show and realizing that I was that kid when I was 13, you wow, know, yeah. so it's really interesting. Who were you standing in line for when you were 13? Um, not necessarily in the fact that I was standing in line for a show because I didn't really go to a lot of shows when I was younger, oh, wow. but just the fact that like, you know, when, when I talk to them, they're like all like, you know, really shy and introvert and I feel like I'm the same way and like, yeah, I don't know. But Melanie, you nail it every time, though. You really have to give yourself credit because you really, I mean, it's amazing to hear you on your on a, on a record, on a download. But to hear you live, what kind of preparation do you put into that? When I literally, that was the first time I sang all day today. Get out of here. Yeah, really? I yeah, especially for like, you know, in the morning, it's like I literally just woke up like a little bit ago and just took me maybe 30 minutes to put makeup on and then I just like threw this wig on and came here and that's my first time I'm singing all day. Okay, the the, the makeup ladies flawless <laughs> though, right? I am not, I'm not putting makeup. Um, so let's talk about, this is your second tour, right? Because you toured a little <laughs> bit on, on the EP. Have you learned anything from that first tour that, that you're doing differently in this second one? Well, I toured four times off of the EP. And okay, then this I didn't is, know that. And this is the second tour off of the Crybaby album. Okay, so, so, so what have you learned on all those tours <laughs> to come to this one. I didn't know you toured that much. Yeah, You're a veteran I, now. I tore a lot. Dang, girl. <laughs> um, but I I think that I've learned that um, I, I don't know, it's really hard touring, especially right now. I've realized that I just, I'm so obsessed with the creative process and writing, so it's been really hard for me to create while traveling and going from venue to venue every single night. It's like, it's really hard to find time to create and write and you know think about music video treatments and stuff like that. Is there one song you perform that you, I mean, you love to perform so much you get that feeling inside like, yes, I can't wait to perform this one? Um, I love performing Mrs. Potato Head, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You're, you're, now, tell me, like, the first time you put a download in or a CD in, Who's the first artist that said, I definitely want to do this for a career that you were like that you got you hooked to doing the music thing? It wasn't a specific artist, but I loved singing ever since I was really small. And then I um, I listened to a lot of different, you know, artists that like my dad would play. He listened to a lot of like old school hip hop. And, yeah. And, you know, the first like female artist that really like um, touched me I think was Brandy I just like oh, I, yeah, yeah I loved I loved Brandy as a kid and then as I you know when I was a kid I loved really like also all the like female like pop divas like Christina Aguilera Britney Spears like all them like I just loved pop music and then I was like I got older when I was 14 I started playing guitar and then I got into a whole other different kind of music and I loved like Regina Spector and Coco Rosie and um and now I'm just kind of writing the music. Great and choice, really. by the <laughs> way. Okay, so uh, I want to see if this is real or fake. If we put a plate of vegetables in front of you, what would you say? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure. Yeah. There's so many re like real stuff and fake stuff on the internet, and you never know what to believe. How about the one that you absolutely wear socks, no shoes, you, you wear socks when you perform? Always wear socks. Why is yeah. that? Yeah. Um, Honestly, it's weird because these are my favorite boots and I tried wearing them on stage and I had to take them off during the second song because I just can't perform in shoes. Yeah. I have no idea what it is. I, I can go out on stage with shoes on, but they'll come off within a few songs. Dang. <laughs> well, we know all about Melanie now. Hey, thanks so much for coming by and doing this for our listeners. Yeah, absolutely. Melanie Thank Martinez me. on The Atom Bomb Show. It's my party and I'm